Hello, welcome back to another vlog. We are here at the boys' first soccer practice, as you could see. Um, the, I wanted to vlog earlier today, but today has just not a good, been a good day. I think it's about to be that time of the month. And that time of the month for me, on top of like all of my other emotional stress is just, no, no. But yeah. Brian's here. Hold on. There we go. Now you can see him. Brian made it. Rushed here from work. This is my little snack. These are so good when you buy from this company. The proceeds go to an eating disorder foundation to help those with eating disorders. These are my favorite ones. All right, you guys, we are heading home. We just finished soccer practice. I thought Ethan had it till 7.30, but he only had it from seven till seven. So I'm hoping that's how it stays till six, six to seven, because I was dreading that 7.30, because I did not cook dinner. I have in my mind kind of what I want to make, but you know, I really don't want to cook, but I have no choice. So it's either like sandwiches, noodles, or leftovers. Noodles. Or I cook. Noodles, mama. I might cook. Okay, green light. All right, you guys, I settled on leftovers, at least for the boys. I don't know, I don't have an appetite. Um, but yeah, he didn't have the boys leftovers because they're hungry like now, which is understandable. They just worked out. I know I'll be hungry right after a workout. I guess my workout days are probably gonna have to change too to like Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. I feel like that sounds like it'd be a good workout schedule, but yeah how is it so yummy it's really yummy tiger it's like a tiger food they, they can see you hi i like this tiger food it looks like tiger stripes yeah I'm glad y'all like leftovers. Okay, so I came back to the office. I'm still trying to see if I'm going to have to use iMovie or not. Literally, it took six hours for all of my footage to import into a folder on my computer that I would be able to import it into my editing software. So I'm trying to see if there's a way that I can like cut that time down or what the case would have to be. But anyways, I wanted to show you guys these nails that I received from Vanity Bay. I will be doing my nails tomorrow because I still have to take this gel nail off. I still love gel manicures, but my nails are getting so damaged from having to scrape off the gel polish and things like that. And so like, if you see this nail here, it's like almost non-existent now. And that one too. So when they should be the length of like all of my other nails, but they keep breaking because they're so damaged from the gel manicure. So whenever Vanity Bay reached out to sponsor this video, thank you Vanity Bay for sponsoring this video. I was like, yes, of course, I would love some press on so that way my nails can still look cute without having to worry about scraping off like the gel polish. So I don't know 
which one I want to use yet. This one is called, do they have names on them? Oh, this one's called Plumberry Tile. This one looked a lot darker on the website. It looks plum when you look at it on the website, but I'm really glad that they were not that dark. Um, and then this one is called She's a Baddie. Shawty, she bad, she knows she a 10. Those are so cute. Very um, much like um, spring vibes. And then there's these ones, which are like Mas Fancy. These ones are called Take It Slow. Those are really cute. I might, I might do these ones. I don't know yet. Then there's these, which are super pretty, called Sun Dawn. Yeah, Sun Dawn. Super pretty. See how these ones kind of have some pink on them? Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. And then these ones are called um, Vanilla Bean, which are really pretty as well. I don't know which ones I'm gonna wanna use, but I know I'm not doing it tonight, you guys. I am just so mentally exhausted. Like, it's not even funny. Like, I feel, and I like I said, I don't know if it's because it's that time of the month or what, but I do just feel like so tired. Like when it comes, maybe it's because I'm got out of my routine. I'm gonna try getting back into my usual routine tomorrow and see how I feel. But I've been really out of routine this week, like really out of routine. I say that and it's only Tuesday, but I don't know. I feel like one day of not being in my routine just throws off everything. So we'll try tomorrow to do the routine of waking up, washing our face, brushing our teeth, doing our skincare, and then going straight into my prayer room because I haven't even been doing my Bible stuff in my prayer room or anything and this week. And I don't think I've been doing it since last week, actually. And maybe that's why I feel so out of routine is because it's been happening since like Friday and it's Tuesday that I have not been in my routine. So I don't know. Is anybody else like that? Like you thrive off of routine? I don't know. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to try to edit and then um, probably call it a night because I'm not hungry right now. I do know that I need to eat because I have a headache. But I will see you guys tomorrow when we do our nails together because like I said, I'm gonna really try to get back into a routine tomorrow morning and I don't want to try to film it because I feel like that'll throw me out of my routine. So I'll see you guys once we are able to sit down and do the nails tomorrow morning. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, you guys, so it is the next day we are back. Um, quick update, I failed. I did do my regular routine and I feel a lot better today. But outside of that, like waking up early, going to bed on time, failed immediately was a no. So once again, we are. I would like to thank Vanity Bay for sponsoring today's video. We are going to go ahead and do a press on manicure here today together, which I'm super excited about because my nails are super damaged from my gel manicure. So I think having some cute nails to put over my damaged nails as they kind of heal themselves is gonna be so good. So here, I wanted to give you guys a better view of what these look like. These are their almond shape and these are in the style She's a Baddie. Super pretty, cute packaging and it comes with the glue, the nail file, it comes with the tabs. I'll show you guys that once we get there. These ones are their oval shape. These are plumberry tile. This one is another almond shape in Sun Dawn. God, that one is so pretty. I wish I had a gold color to put on my toes so that way I could match, but I don't. Um, this one is another almond shape and this is vanilla bean which is so pretty. It literally reminds me of vanilla bean frappuccino. And then the ones that I'm going to be using today, these are one of their oval shapes and this is Take It Slow. And so let's go ahead and open up this package together. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I like it because it's very small and simple packaging. Other brands that I've seen, their packaging is always so big and bulky. Um, it comes with 24 reusable nails. When you take it out, like I said, it comes with a little pick to push your cuticles back, a little nail file, um, alcohol wipes to go ahead and get all of the oils out of your nail because if you do not get all the oils out of your nail, your nails will not stick for a long time. It comes with these little stickies if you literally just want them to be press-ons. I never like these things because I feel like you can feel the hair and stuff get under the nails and I'm just not about that life. And then like I said, it comes with all the nails and it even comes with a nail glue. So today we will be using their nail glue, their nails. Let's go ahead and start the process. 
So first things first is I do want to remove the gel polish. Um, this is the best gel remover that I have found without having to soak your nails. And so, um, yeah, you can find this on my Amazon storefront, which is linked in my bio. It's going to coat all of my nails with this and then you let it sit for about five to 10 minutes. Okay, so now that our nails have soaked, we're gonna go ahead and start scraping this off. And it's so easy. I absolutely love that gel polish remover. And I'm not too worried about the tips because I'm gonna cut my nails down. It comes off so easy. Get as much off as we can so we don't have to do too much filing. And then we will do the other hand and I will be right back. Okay, so I did decide not to cut my nails just because these false nails, well, press on nails are really long and I want them to have something more to grab, grip onto. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this nail file and we're just gonna begin to file away the natural oils. We're gonna give something we're gonna give some texture for that glue to grip onto and we're also filing away any excel any excess gel polish all right we're gonna do the other hand and then we'll be right back again okay now that the nails and stuff are filed we're just gonna go around and clean up the cuticle area like i said we just want to make sure as much surface as possible is cleaned off so that way that glue is really able to cover the complete surface area of the nail. Just making sure cuticles look nice and good. And now we start the application process. pretty i'm gonna go ahead and do the other nail and then we'll be back all right so i already did this hand but what i did was i went around and made sure that these fit my nail perfectly so i just kind of filed around the edges and that is it you guys um don't mind this thing these fingers these fingers are naturally crooked but that is how they turned out they are super pretty like super super pretty so yeah that is it for the um manicure you guys i would like to thank vanity bay again for sponsoring this portion of today's video where i really like them again oh these are so cute look at that so stinking cute good morning guys so i am currently doing my bible time um, I do have a video over everything that is in my Bible box. Um, if you are interested, I'll try to upload it to YouTube Shorts because it is on like my TikTok and stuff. Um, I was going ham with these nails yesterday and they are sticking in there. I don't know if it's the way they're made. I don't know if it's their glue, but y'all was banging these on everything, forgetting I had them and they are hanging in there. But I am going to go ahead and finish up my read and write the word. And then I got to bring in the groceries. I've been saving it to vlog it. And then like I said, I just went started going through my morning routine. So I got about five more minutes left in my Bible routine. And then we're going to go get them groceries and bring them in. All right, you guys, we just finished our read and write the word. I had to stop recording. 
because um, it asked me to write down some definitions. And now I know the difference between steadfastness and patience. And I'm not good at either one. Um, so essentially patience just means to have a calmness without discontentment. So really when we pay for, pray for patience, like, oh, let me have patience with my children. Like, I don't think our minds are comprehending what that actually means. It means for us to be calm with our children without allowing them to cause us discontent. That is insane to me. And steadfastness, I always start to doubt. Anytime anything hard happens, I'm like, but God, if this is for me, like, why does it feel so hard? And I'm like, I'm here crying. And Job went through what he went through. Jesus went through what he went through. And I'm like, make humble yourself ally but um yeah let's go get these groceries in because our our sam's club grocery order is ready so we're gonna go pick that up so i'm just gonna snatch these groceries in real quick and get those inside and then we're gonna go get um the walmart or the sam's club order sam's club is literally right around my house so i'm gonna go start the car as we pull in the groceries and then um yeah y'all yeah, we'll see All right, you guys, so here's a little overview of what we got from Walmart. I'm starting to charge. Um, it's sad to think that that's $150 worth of groceries. You guys made it to Sam's Club. It's literally like a three minute drive, <laughs> like a three minute drive. And then they said it'll be about five to 10 minutes before they get my order out to me. <sighs> yeah. They're blessed and we'll be blessed one day like that. God has really changed my mind and my heart. Like, it doesn't mean I'm not frustrated about things, but God has definitely been dealing with my mind and my heart. And anyways, we're here at Sam's picking up the last, like, five items of our grocery. Literally, like, four or five items two cases of water a case of protein shakes a case of the smoothies and i believe actually that's it i think that's it but um yeah i'll show you guys once we get home i, I just i'm thankful thank you lord thank you lord that we have groceries thank you lord that you're going to give me the wisdom on what to cook how to cook and make these groceries be enough for my family i thank you for that lord We are back. We are unloaded. Let's do a quick grocery overview. <gasps> y'all know what I forgot to share? My butter. Hold on. Okay, now I can officially share with y'all. I was making a TikTok and forgot to mention five items. So let's go ahead and get into my little haul overview for you guys. Starting over here, I buy these protein shakes for Brian. They were out of the chocolate this time. So I got him strawberry. He doesn't really mind which one. I don't know why I'm talking so fast as if I'm trying to make a one minute TikTok. I got these Lala smoothies, um, probiotics. These only have about five grams of protein, but I just, I cannot with protein shakes. So I'd rather try to eat a lot of meat and other things with high protein. And so I got those, got two cases of, wa of water because these are only $3.98 at Sam's Club. And I believe it's the same price at Costco, like three something. And if you go to like Walmart, Target for 40, you're paying over $5. Got two gallons of almond milk. Um, when I price compared, it was cheaper to get it at um, Walmart. Um, Walmart sprinkle cut fries, that way I can make them like quesadillas, sandwiches, and things like that, chicken nuggets and french fries. Um, got these little popsicles right here. So these are just the paletas. I, we we love these in this household. So last time I bought these with the chamoy, but the kids don't like them that much. So I got them without the chamoy. And then if we want to add chamoy, we can. 
but that's really good. And then we just get these um, con crema. These are mine and Brian's favorite. Favorite. Got a smoothie mix for Brian and I. Um, we still have some frozen um, fruit. That's what I use for my smoothies. I need to get some ice, um, but yeah. These russet potatoes. I would have just bought the chemical filled potatoes if I knew this organic bag was so small. Um, it doesn't look like three pounds, but that's what they say. Oh my gosh, there's so much that I forgot to buy at talk about in my TikTok. I'll add it. Um, Unstoppables, OxyClean freezer bags, carrots, um, black grapes. Those are Brian's favorite. Got two bags of cheese, one Fiesta, one queso quesadilla um two pounds of strawberries two pints of blueberries i'm going to freeze one of the pints of blueberries and then four pounds of ground beef i'm going to split these up into one pound i do have a scale and then butter for like toast and stuff and then butter for baking because apparently i'm a baker now i'm about to start ba baking our own bread with these prices and then four pounds of chicken. I'm also going to split this up into four one pound bags. I am Woody. He's Woody. You ain't picking your phone up Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day Let me take you away All I need is just saying yeah, 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 yeah Better nights, better days When you're here with me, babe Cause you're all that I crave So I wonder Where are you? Where are you? Don't hide away from me when I need you most We got love guaranteed and I have to know Say, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Don't be so hard to reach Just pick up your phone Tell me where you be Cause I gotta know Let me know when you're ready Cause I made reservations Too many invitations And the last night was heavy. heavy I need communication Tell me where's your location Used to talk 24-7 Every other second Just to make sure we were up to date Now it's closer to 11 And I ain't hearing nothing I just need to know that you're okay Hide away from me when I need you most We got love guaranteed and I have to know Say, where are you? Where, where are you? Where, where are you? Hey. Don't be so hard to reach Just pick up your phone Tell me where you be Cause I gotta know Any night, any day let me take you away All I need is you saying yeah, 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 yeah Better nights, better days When you're here with me, babe Cause you're all I crave So I wonder When I need you most We got love guaranteed And I have to know Say Don't be so hard to reach Just pick up your phone Tell me where you'll be Cause I gotta know
stuck in the past watching videos of us I have been trying to get rid of your stuff But voices in my head are telling me to stop It's all I have left, all I have of you Thought I was more than a body to hold, baby I wanted you, wanted us to be something more I was so sure, let my guard down for you Baby, why'd you have to love me, love me like that? I gave you my heart and you tore it apart Don't know why you had to hurt me, hurt me like that Cause now I'm messed up, drinking non-stop Just trying to forget you and everything we said But I can't seem to get these thoughts out of my head Baby, why'd you have to love me, love me like that? Love me like that Inside in my bed all day long Listening to sad songs and feeling so low Thinking about you and where we went wrong Cause I wanna know why you let me go Thought I was more than a body to hold, baby I wanted you, wanted us to be something Alright you guys, a little bit over an hour later I am done, that's when people are like Grocery day is a big chore. Heck yes, grocery day is a big chore for me. Yes, it's only every two weeks, but I gotta throw out the old food, do the dishes from the old food, go through the cabinet, see what snacks I have, restock the kids' snack box, restock the fridge, wash the fruits and veggies. And then I gotta, usually here recently, I've been having to like separate the meat into freezer bags, label them, cleaning up afterwards. It's a whole lot, and I still gotta throw trash. There's still so much trash now. But now that the groceries are put up, I definitely see that we have more than enough. Now that the groceries are put up, it's more than enough. More than enough, and I'm very thankful for that. Sometimes I could be a bit dramatic, and you know, sometimes I gotta let it out, cry out to God, and then he shows me, like, look, Look what I all that you have. There's that trash. And then there's this trash. I still gotta refill those two things. Um, uh, let me throw these water bottles away. I always get onto the boys about their trash and I don't ever. I just be leaving mine there because I know it's going to get cleaned up. Like, I don't mind leaving my own trash there. I'm going to clean up my trash. I hate when people leave behind their trash and expect me to clean it up. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm definitely looking into investing in a water filter. It's just the finances would have to sit in the bank account perfectly in order for me to spend that two to $300. So, um... Usually this is a lot more full, but I'm okay with that because you know what is full? Mine and Brian's snack box and the boys' snack box. They have juices in the fridge. We have drinks in the fridge. Um, they even have more juices down there, potatoes and onions. And then, like I said, the Lord just sometimes just has to show me and the fridge is fully stocked. Um, we could still use like some other fruits and veggies like cucumbers, bell peppers, but if I actually have a recipe that needs those, I'll just run to the store. And then the freezer. And then like I said, I'm glad that I'm pretty set on like frozen veggies. I'm just going to have to get more comfortable with using these mixed veggies. I'm going to use those tonight in a recipe. Um, fish sticks, homemade pancakes. I need to make some homemade waffles because that's all we have left. French fries, taquitos, that buffalo style. Is that expired? That's been in here for a while. Wow, these still don't expire until May, so we'll, we'll eat those soon. Um, and then, like I said, we have those popsicles back there. Still got all kinds of popsicles in here. Um, more veggies, the boys chicken nuggets, ground beef chicken we could definitely use more chicken and then we still have some i ended up not freezing any blueberries because i saw that we still had this bag of frozen blueberries here i feel like it's good like i said if there's anything that we absolutely need there are fine there are funds there for me to run to the store but i really don't like to do that because that adds up quick and then it's like um 
Our canned goods are pretty good. Yeah, see our canned goods are pretty good. Uh, pasta sauces, like instant sides. And then like my cornbread, biscuits, pancake mix and stuff when I don't make them homemade. Probably set this seasoning down here. Got all these seasonings. That don't fit in my seasoning drawer because I keep buying seasonings. So that don't let me buy no more seasonings. But um, yeah. Like I said, we're pretty set. My mind was just getting the best of me. Oh, I need a I need to refill their cereals. So maybe I'll do that real quick. I did forget to do that. Definitely out of panda puffs, but I'm probably gonna pour the rest of the the rest of the um, Reese's puffs in here. We even got ramen. Like we're good. Like we definitely are not going to go hungry. I just be hyping myself. It's not even me. I just allow the enemy to plant thoughts that don't need to be planted. All right, so I'm gonna refill these, take off the trash, and then I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, y'all, me and Ethan just finished taking out the trash. Um, the last part of my groceries just got here. Every time I'm like, okay, you can go work out. Okay, now you can go work out. I remember that I have more chores, so I need to fold the boys' clothes, and then I need to start my laundry, and then I can go work out. But oh my goodness, this day just got away from me. That's why, that's why putting up groceries is literally a big, I consider a big chore. Some people are like, oh, it's just grocery shopping, you can get it delivered. But I, there's a lot that goes into it. So yeah, I'm about to fold the boys clothes. I have me a little snack over there, a little fig bar that I'm gonna eat. So that way I have something on my stomach to get through the workout and I don't get a headache. And then it's time to start my laundry. But yeah, that's, that's it y'all. My phone needs to charge. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, you guys, I still didn't get to work out. I decided to do yard work instead. So we're getting our yard cut tomorrow or supposed to anyways. And so I wanted to make sure that we got Optimus poop picked up. So we did that. We picked up all the trash in the backyard. And then we've had this pool since last year that my sister and brother-in-law gave us. And I just tried to put it together. And all year we've been telling the boys whenever they come back here, leave the pool pieces alone. Do not mess with the pool pieces or we can't put up the pool. Guess what they lost? They lost two. They lost two of these pieces. So now we can't finish that other side over there that needs to be put up like there's no way for us to put it up without those connectors and i have no idea where the boys have could possibly have those connectors but for right now i'm going to move the trampoline more into that corner and then i'm going to scoot the pool over some more because in the summer i don't want it to be too hot over the pool but i also want to buy like one of those umbrellas to put over it but for right now I'm gonna move the trampoline into the corner and then scoot the pool over and then like that will be their summer corner underneath the trees. There's a party downtown, someone says that you're coming by. moving the pool and they were under the pool. Hi guys! So, Hi. Let's go ahead and finish it. You don't tell someone said that you're coming by. I know that summer was a big mistake. I just hope that we're still okay. You always pick me up and let me
Now, I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna get the mud out quite yet, but when we cross that bridge, we'll get there. For right now, we got us a pool set up. I'm tired, you guys, and that's because we still have soccer practice today, but the backyard looks so good. I'm so, not as clean as I want it to be, but I really don't think our backyard would ever be spotless because we live in an area, the area's not bad, but there are, there's just people who don't care and they throw their trash everywhere and then like the trash blows into our yard. And so I don't think our yard will ever be spotless, but it definitely looks so much better and it looks so good. It looks so good and I'm so happy about it. I took a quick shower. I made the boys take a quick shower because we were all out there for about two hours. And so they were picking up trash, toys, dog poop. Like I would, I raked all the dog poop in a pile and they got shovels and picked it up. The trash, I helped them with the trash. And then like, we were just out there for a long time. I set up the pool. They were helping me find all the pieces. And then I think I'm actually gonna have to scoot the pool over. I don't know if there's something under the pool or if I put the pool on a tree stump. But I was like, you know what? I'll just I'll just wait till Brian can help me like flop where the trampoline are and where the pool are, or at least lift up the pool so that way I can see what's under there to see if we just need to take something out and put it back. But I really don't remember some a tree stump being there. I don't remember a tree stump being there. I think there's something under there, or I don't know. We'll figure it out and we'll get it taken care of. But yeah, I'm making them lunch right now. Literally just making some macaroni and cheese and chicken nuggets. And they have been begging me for this macaroni and cheese. So that's what I'm letting them have today. I know the, all the things. I don't let them eat things like this all the time. So today's just one of them days where they're lucky that they got to do this. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. I also still got to create my read and write the word template. So I want to start making the scripture and the plans myself. Still got to do that today, so after lunch, I'm going to sit down at the computer, and that's what I'm going to work on. Good morning, you guys. So, I honestly don't know where we left off yesterday. Um, it's going to be super windy outside, and we're getting the yard done. So, we have Optimus inside. Yeah, good boy. And um, since we're going to bathe him, we're really going to try to make him an inside dog this time because he's an American bully. And they don't do good at, in the heat in the summer. And he's already like been out there like struggling. So I really want to try to make him an inside dog. Or at least, he's, he's already house trained. I will say that. He's already house trained. He just gets a little too rowdy sometimes. So I'm thinking maybe if I find like some of those calming treats. Um, some that don't put him to sleep but just calm him. Maybe they'll like he'll be calm inside. But I don't know. Y'all let me know. So today is his bath day. He gets bathed once a month because, again, he's an American bully. And if you bathe them too much, you can really, really irritate their skin. So he only gets bathed once a month. That's what they recommend. So, And he's a good boy. He knows already. But, um, yeah, I'm about to put him in the tub. And we're going to get this done. Come on, Optimus. Ethan, come close the door for me, please. All right, you guys, bath time is officially complete. Took about 30 minutes with washing him and blow drying him. And then we went on a little walk so that way he could use the bathroom because every time he takes a bath, he has to use the bathroom afterwards. And like I said, um, we took him on a little walk. He used the bathroom, came back. I got ready. Super simple today. Just got this black shirt from Sheen. Got these Nike biker shorts. I will try to link, link similar, similar things in my Amazon storefront. Um, I need to create like a fashion thing, but in my Amazon storefront and then we have Optimus chilling here I'm gonna go ahead and do my read and write the word because I have to take Brian his watch and Usually so way Brian doesn't miss out on like too many calories or steps. I'll add his watch to my wrist But yeah, I'm about to do this read and write the word He's chilling like a villain He jumps at every single loud noise dogs are so i remember one day he heard the boys waking up before i did and he was growling and acting antsy in me and i was like what what are you what's wrong what's wrong so i'd get him to calm down and then like 15 minutes later the boys came out because he could hear them like 
moaning and like waking up out of their sleep so it was making like he thought something was wrong with them but there wasn't so yeah let me hurry up and do this reading write the word and stuff no. all right you guys we took brian his watch we are now here at whataburger i brought the boys to eat but we're gonna Whataburger. eat whataburger and then yes. we're gonna head home i'm Whataburger. so tired Whataburger. like that's the reason Whataburger. i'm not going home and cooking lunch because i gotta Whataburger. cook dinner Whataburger. and y'all i'm Whataburger. exhausted hey i'm talking I'm exhausted from yesterday, like so tired. You can open the door for Ronald. Uh, it says no chargers allowed. No chargers? It says no smoking. <laughs> <It's laughs> <It's> <laughs> Alright, I gotta crack the back windows. So we have Optimus with us because training him to be an inside dog. But I don't trust him at home to either not tear up the pee pee pads or to not walk around in peace somewhere. So he's in the car, but I'm gonna open all the windows for him. So just we'll see how it goes. I wasn't even recording. Not like I mean. All right, so we ordered and now we are waiting. Ethan and Bryson got cheeseburgers and King got a grilled cheese and I got a cheese, well, double, well, not, I got a double patty cheeseburger with one slice of cheese. Cause I gotta be careful with the dairy. And then I got me a little soda. So yeah, we're just waiting on our food now. I'm so, so, so hungry. So here's mine, just a little burger, one slice of cheese, lettuce, pickle, onion, mustard, grilled cheese. And I always get the boys these, like how cute these are. So cute. We are about to enjoy our lunch, you guys. Alright, let's see. Okay. Did you make it? Yes, ma'am. I mean, no, ma'am. Here you go, ma'am. <laughs> Watch it, Ethan. Watch it. Oh, the wind done took my thing. All right. Come on. You ready? Happy Sunday, you guys. We just got home from church. I just made the boys a quick little lunch, some sandwiches. Every Sunday morning, it's like go, 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 go. Or I would vlog like my morning process. I remember I did it once for TikTok and it was, it was a mission. So I did start washing mine and Brian's sheets and comforters this morning. So I need to switch this load. I need to put up the dishes in the dishwasher. And then I'm gonna go spend time in the Word real quick. Um, because I didn't get to do that this morning, my at-home time in the Word. And then I'm going to change and get dressed for the gym. Or I may change for the gym first, but first let's take care of these little chores. Alright, so here's just a little OOTD of what I wore today. This was one of my dresses for my Sheen haul. I stuck these Nike biker shorts underneath, which were a little bit too long. But, I mean, I'd rather people see that I'm trying to be modest than people wondering like what does she have underneath her dress with these little shoes brian hates these he thinks they're hideous but i love them especially with like an outfit like this so i'm gonna change for the gym now and then go do my read and write the word and my james study 
and my little morning devotional that I didn't get to do. And then I'm gonna have me a pre-workout PB and J because we we need that. We need something on our stomachs. But I'd never eat until after I've spent my alone time with God. It doesn't matter if I go to church. It doesn't matter like if I'm listening to something. Like until I have sat down and personally done my own studying, I do not eat. It's just I don't know. It's just my walk with God, and I feel to get filled up on the word first, and then it helps me kind of control my appetite. I don't know. It could be in my head, but. Um, my appetite and things like that are something I've definitely been giving to the Lord and I feel finding spending time in his word first I do not eat as much or do a lot of mindless eating throughout the day so not that I don't snack but it's not as often as it used to be and I've actually been making sure to eat like whole food full meals instead of just snacking like I used to so yeah let me change okay so here's the gym fit um not taking off my jewelry oversized tea and then I just tucked it in in the back um only because i'm still very much self-conscious about so these will roll and fold and then i'll get like a little bit pudgy but i still have this right here i still have this that you can only see from the side let's see yeah so i'm still very much self-conscious about that and i don't like for that to show and all my actual workout shirts are like too short to cover what I got going on here and because these are biker shorts it shows a lot here so big shirt and people be people in at the gym and so we just don't need none of that just don't need none of that just gonna do an oversized shirt and my biker shorts and call it a day but yeah gonna go spend time in the word now all right, you guys, I just finished my workout. Did about 56 minutes. So I'm gonna sit in the sun until Brian's done because alone, mom time, I'm not gonna go rush the boys or anything. Um, they actually still have about an hour before we have to get them out of the daycare. So I'm just gonna stay in the sauna for an hour, scroll on my phone, maybe edit some TikToks. But um, yeah, so far so good. Um, I am actually going to end the vlog here. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Remember that I love you guys, but Jesus loves you more.